Hello guys, in this, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up my uh, strategy, my system uh, on TradingView, okay? I have many questions, I got many questions actually in from some members in my private channels. They are asking many things about uh, my system, right? So in this video I'm going to show you how to, you, how you can use my, my, my strategy, yeah, my system on TradingView. Uh, but in general, the explanation is going to be very general. Of course, you want to know the details about my strategy. You need to watch my live streams because every day we are starting there, right? So also one thing, if you really want to take it seriously. Um, I really hope this month I'm going to open some training programs and not just my system. I will teach you. I will train you how to um, I will help you actually how to trade in the markets. OK. So as I said before, I am a full-time trader. Uh, every day I'm trading. I am doing this for a living. So, well, I'm very happy to share my experience with all of you guys. Okay, let's just start. Okay, first of all, we have here in Bitcoin, and as you can see, we, we have a fresh and clean uh, chart. So we have some indicators we need to add, okay? So you can go here in community, and you can search my uh, actual nickname. Mm -hmm. And you will see some indicators here. Lonidas, trend following system, squeeze momentum indicator. There are many actually because actually I really like to to create indicators. Okay. So well, the first one we are gonna add is the Lonidas trend following system. Yeah. As you can see here, this one is totally free. You can use it. Yeah. So let's start with uh, with uh, this one. Okay. So I'm going to add this one. And as you can see here, we have the default configuration is the M exponential moving average M55. When I say key Emma here in the in the configuration is because actually is the main main or moving average I'm using for uh, my trading system. OK, the long term exponential moving average is the 100. It's optional. You can use it if you want. I don't use it very often. Just when I want to see like the large, uh, I mean, it's like the the top of some moves to the downside or the of the top, uh, but usually I don't use it as you can see here. So this one and also the short term exponential moving average is the MA21. Now we have here like the bands and the uh, show cycle top and the long term MA is this one MA sorry is the 100 as you can see here and you can see the show the cycle top here is well based on my experience just when some actually I didn't explain this actually I'm gonna record a video about this but it looks like uh, based on my experience when two moving average actually they are racing up and they are almost crossing uh, I mean something like this they are doing something like this yeah like this, you will see potential in my, uh, tops in one day chart. Look at this. So we have we have this one and just few times in the in the for Bitcoin. Actually, there is other indicator uh, that is uh, is very famous. Uh, I didn't know about this. One of my friends told me is the PI cycle indicator, something like that. So it's similar idea. Uh, I don't know the calculation of that indicator. Uh, this one is was something like I did long time ago. But as I said before, uh, it's just optional. It's all optional. As I said, it depends on the trader. If you want to use it, it's up to you. In my case, the default settings is the things always I use. Okay. So the bands here. Let me explain here. The bands here is the short, long, long, very long term moving average. I like to see in one day chart to see potential bottoms or or tops uh, in the, in in some moves. For example, here and here and here and here. As you can see here, potential of course is just something optional. In this case, for example, the top of is around 90,000 and the bottom is around 23. Mm -hmm. So historically speaking, every time when Bitcoin, at least in 2018, in 2019, is testing this moving average, is the potential bottom of that uh, move to the downside. OK, so as I said before, this is just optional. You are free to do uh, to to test it. As I said before, again, they are optional. OK, I don't you, you will not see me using them very often. 
I you like to use them when I really see something interesting in the chart. For example, after a capitulation, after a capitulation, or after potential macro tops, I like to use them. So maybe in some point in my live stream, you will see me use them. Okay. So okay. So let's continue. Now, this indicator, as you can see here, very, very, very simple to understand when it's blue or you can change the color, right? You can change the color here, for example, green. Mm -hmm. It depends. On, it's up to you. Uh, when it's blue or green, uh, you can see a very healthy uptrend uh, in the asset. When it's yellow or in this case, like, for example, here, potential is reversals. Potential. Mm -hmm. For example, in this case, potentially here and also here right we have one two three four mm -hmm. now how to use this indicator well please watch my live streams yeah because i am not the trader who is trading the golden cross and the death cross and this kind of things of course not that is the wrong way in my experience of using moving average okay so let's continue the next one is the squeeze momentum indicator okay so this is if i write here a squeeze you will see like there are many 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 indicators of this mm -hmm. uh, some people in my private channels they are asking hey why you're not using this one why you're not using this one this one maybe if you are using this for example lazy beer mm -hmm. this one okay perfect um, they are using the dots and many things like that in my case i don't use it why because in my system for me they are not useful that's it as i said before there are many ways of trading okay if for you this indicator the dots or whatever you see in this indicator or any indicator is useful you can use it but in my case i don't like it i don't use it why because after i back tested my own system i realized um i don't have the performance i am looking for mm -hmm. so that's why i removed them so what i what i did simple i created my own indicator with my custom values that values is if i have that values is because i already tested before so again if you write here mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can see here a squeeze momentum you need a squeeze momentum system mm -hmm. Look at this. So if you compare this one with the lazy beer, for example, squeeze, you will see like almost it, they are the same. Actually, the calculations are very similar. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Yeah, very, very similar. The difference with this between this indicator and this indicator is this indicator has custom values and this one is actually the default values of the auto, right? So in my case, for example, I like to use Alma, Alma, to calculate uh, all the uh, <clears throat> the squeeze. In Lazy Beer, they like to calculate. They are using internally exponential moving average. Mm -hmm. So the calculation is a little bit different, and also the colors, as you can see here, the options I am using here. Uh, they are optional, as I said before. These kind of settings is if after you learn how to use indicator, you can customize and you can do your own back testing. Okay. So the default values I have here is because they are all the values I like to use for my own trading style. Okay. So the one thing I'm gonna I need to update. I need your help to update here. Instead of five colors, you need to use three or two colors. It depends. It's up to you. In my case, I like to use three. Mm -hmm. This is the only thing I need to change. And also, as you can see here, uh, this indicator we I, I am using the exponent the ADX. Now, some people are asking me, what is this line? What is this line? Okay, this line is the 23 value in ADX. So, if you don't know how to use ADX, actually, first, first you need to learn how to use it. Right? I mean, read how adx is working and you will understand better this indicator adx for example here yeah in general above 23 level or 20 that depends on the author in my case is 23 that means the trend is getting stronger mm -hmm. so this line you see here this line uh, here as you can see here this line this line is the is the, is this line is this line you see is this line okay so this line here is a signal of the, the ADX. So this one, the purple one, the purple. So 
every time when I see the ADX, it depends on the case, right? For example, when it's white, that means the trend is very strong. Doesn't matter, uh, regardless of the, of the direction, okay? Doesn't matter the direction, just I know the trend is strong. If it's to the upside, well, as, as long as the ADX is, is positive, so that means bulls in this case, or bears, whatever, the trend is very strong. When you see the slope getting negative or gray, dark gray, as you can see here, that means the momentum is losing. So, for example, here, in this downside, all this downtrend, actually, I was very happy shorting Bitcoin all this uh, since November. Look at this. The ADX was just positive, positive here in all this area, right? So what does that mean? Well, this downtrend is a strong, very, very strong. In the moment when the ADX lose the uh, is getting negative, the slope is negative. For example, you see, it's the same. Mm -hmm. That means we will see potentially a bounce. Why? Because finally, um, bears or people who are selling, they are not that strong anymore. And as you can see, we can see this bounce. You see. So in general, that is in the big picture what, how we can use uh, ADX. Uh, with uh, the system so now my system is combining the, AD, the of, co of course the squeeze plus the adx and also i need to add other indicator okay <clears throat> the obb oscillator mm -hmm. there are some options in my case i have a private indicator because uh, the normal um, obb in my experience has many many issues especially with the scale mm -hmm. so if i use my indicators here <clears throat> let me show you here obb yes it's this one mm -hmm. as you can see here i explain i'm try i try to explain carefully how to use it um only in this case is private uh -huh, and you can use it uh, if you are a supporter or my patreon so as i said remember my patreon i have a private channel just for uh, for supporters i mean i am not how can i say this just for thank i mean thanks for your all your help i can keep uh, posting my technical analysis and also updating my charts and supporting the channel and this kind of things right so but i want to show you something you can use actually a, a free indicator of obb of course you can use it and you can <clears throat> because this one is a customized version of the classic uh, obb and i'm gonna show you how okay first of all is this indicator i'm using in my live streams as i said before you want to use it uh, the only way for now is with uh, <clears throat> supporting the, this channel uh, using pa Patreon. Now, <clears throat> if you want to, okay, so, okay, but I want to understand this. Okay, first, well, you can use the classic OBB. Mm -hmm. OBB. OBB here, as you can see here, classic OBB. And you can add the exponential moving average here, for example, add indicators here. And you can add exponential moving average or the <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry the moving average weighted here. Mm -hmm. This one or the exponential, it depends up to you. As you can see in this case, I'm gonna add this one and I'm gonna change here to 55. Mm -hmm. And that is not the same, almost the same. This configuration you will get a very similar setups for this one but but what the biggest difference is my customized indicator will tell you will give you more information for example when the trend is starting here accumulation zones selling pressure and also the most important thing here is the scale it depends on the time frame for example now look at this this is one day chart you see one day chart here and if i move here to four hour chart you can see here <clears throat> the scale is gonna be a mess here uh, many times and also the values is gonna be different as you can see here my indicator is offering a little bit like um, better signals than the classic one because this one let me tell you something for many years actually i've been using this system and i found like i have many limitations and i was looking for a way how to improve my reads with this mm -hmm. so that's why i created this now 
the scale is not a problem anymore in this in my indicator and also the reads you can see when the market is uptrend or is very healthy and also with the colors in this case you can see when the market finally is finishing the trend in this case for example here when you see the very very light blue that means the market is very strong so that means the volume is very healthy and when you see the volume like in the dark blue something like this is because uh, well it's not that strong so something you cannot see with a normal indicator right so let me show you the weekly chart for example here the scale look at this the scale is super annoying that's why i have to fix it so here as you can see my indicator is telling you before even before before when a potential bull trap is going to happen so that is the biggest difference with my indicator and the classic obb mm -hmm. the reason is because the calculations here are, is i modify everything based on my experience and my training style obb itself is very powerful it's very good but as i said before you have to really understand how it's working okay not just obb all indicators right all indicators now <clears throat> let's continue the last the last indicator i am using is the volatility okay volatility you can use all there are many volat volatility indicators in in on trading view but i designed my own volatility uh, indicator and the reason as i said before is because i adapted that indicator the tools for my own trading style so again if you write my my nickname mm -hmm, you will see <clears throat> here uh Lunidas volatility oscillator look at this is this one mm -hmm. this is the volatility now we have three indicators right now we have one two three and let me explain why we have three well one of the biggest mistakes i can see for many many traders is they are using for example rsi they are using stochastics they are using stochastics and also macd but they don't know actually they have very similar calculations so you are looking the same thing but in different way that is a problem that is a problem because maybe you will have buy signal in two indicators but you don't know the calculations are exactly the same that is the biggest problem so in my trading style the rule is there is like this timing price action volatility mm -hmm, are the key secrets in my system i mean my system is not perfect of course I, there are many systems there are many ways of trading but in my case volatility is this one because thanks to this indicator i can catch uh, explosive moves even even before they happen because my job as a trader is i need to anticipate that move mm -hmm. for example as i said many times in my live streams in general the general rule every time when you see the blue clouds here you can expect very interesting moves in the charts mm -hmm. also volume is obb remember obb is actually is a volume indicator and the theory behind the OBB is the volume must follow the price. So based on of this, in my understanding, based on my experience, market makers, they can manipulate the market, the price, as you can see here, but they cannot manipulate the volume or, or they can do it, but it's going to be very, very expensive because they actually, they have to put a lot of money in the market. So for example, the last bull trap we, we saw for Bitcoin right now into a weekly chart, massive bull trap in 2019 uh, 21 sorry and actually we still have this same, same signature as you can see here i said in november a careful because this this move this move is a macro bull trap mm -hmm. so all this move in general following this theory is a bull trap mm -hmm. a bull trap that means distribution pattern in the highs so that is my conclusion of course we using the volume because you want to see very healthy bull runs uptrends in weekly chart you need to see the price and the volume moving in the same direction so look at this beautiful beautiful uptrends you see so 
Also, the squeeze momentum indicator is something is like is my trigger. It's one of my triggers to enter to buy and sell. The 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 most important thing I think based on my experience using this indicator is the divergences. Actually, I like to use the divergence for OBB. Uh, sorry, for a squeeze. Um, in one day chart, uh, they are very powerful and higher time frames. Actually, yes. The problem with the squeeze is we have many, many fake signals. For example, uh, actually, some people asked me about this. Said, "Hey, the description of lazy beer." They said, "No, you, you see this, you will see. I don't know the dots, blah blah blah." No, I mean, my friends, I tested this. I am not saying it's a bad indicator, but in general, you cannot. It's very bad idea. You are trading. You are trading just with one indicator. You need. To get confirmation okay so in this case for example you have many buy signals here but well many buy signals yes but what happened bitcoin just crashed so many five fake signals here mm -hmm. so that's why using all my tools you will get like a, a check okay for example it's an example okay so okay we have buy signal in a squeeze yes okay check we have the adx positive negative i mean the trend yes okay we have healthy obb yes we have volatility what is expanding is contracting is what consolidation what okay it depends on the situation okay mm -hmm. and now this is for price action timing and volatility in general my indicators right now let's talk about area of supply and demand classic technical analysis they like to use these kind of things for example oh yeah this is my uh, following wedge or my parallel channel whatever is this uh -huh. and the target is according to my my te textbook i don't know whatever it's like to the moon right or they like to do something like this for example i saw i was watching some some videos uh, of some traders because in my community people they like to send me some technical analysis of other people they are doing something like this and something like this and say okay this is a i don't know whatever is a is a, a rectangle par a parallel channel whatever and the target this to the moon right 500 1 million the price you can imagine i don't look i don't use this way mm -hmm. and i explained that many 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 times why mm -hmm. so in general a classic technical analysis for me is worthless the reason is very simple many indicators like rsi macd they were created 40 years ago 50 years ago when we didn't have computers mm -hmm. i mean we have i mean we have computers but not that powerful to trade like now mm -hmm. in our own home right so the conditions were different and now that's why I really believe trading itself, we need to e evolve at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are still applying the same rules like before your textbook, uh -huh, all the rules you know, already know, like the triangle, rectangle, these kind of things. Market makers, professional traders, they know this. They know you can see this. For example, very good example here is here. Mm -hmm. I remember very good in 2018 when Bitcoin was crashing here to the, from $60,000 to $3,000. People said, okay, this is, a, I don't know, some people said, okay, this is a symmetrical triangle. Oh my God. This technically speaking, according to my book, well, the next target is 2600 mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what happened after that? You see, that is the problem. That's why I don't follow this kind of technical analysis, okay? But as I said, this video is not for that. Just I wanted to explain a little bit the context, why I don't like to use that. So how we can know where we can buy or where we can sell, these kind of things. Well, watch my live streams first of all. Second, we, I am using um, the this technique uh, area of demand or area of supply or zone of the, uh, supply or zone of demand it depends right so i mean it depends how you want to call it you can use just price action you don't need any indicator just price action instead of or instead of just doing something like this your magic line like for example like this 
like this no there is a very very bad way to do technical analysis no the thing we are gonna do is you need to find how many candles as much as you can mm -hmm, are in a range in an area for example all this area is a range right you see from the top 44 to 42 so that means all this area all this area not just one price is the resistance or the area of supply so that means you can write you can draw a box yeah you can draw a box and the next one is gonna be for example around this area from 52 all the way to 47 40, 48 as you can see here because we have all this area here 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 all all this area as you can see here mm -hmm. that is the way how you can use it without indicators it's a little bit more difficult yes because you need to practice a lot fortunately we can use tools that remember indicators are tools so we can use it so if you don't have the free version or professional version of training view you can use different indicators right so for free especially if you don't have professional uh, version you cannot use this indicator my private indicator mm -hmm. so let's talk about free tools okay you can use one we uh, a volume profile mm -hmm. poor man the poor man, the poor man volume uh, poor man poor man volume profile as you can see here is this one and this is a free indicator mm -hmm, where you can see where are the area of demand or supply it depends on the time frame for example here you have at 42 40 44 the area of supply this is the your resistance so this is your area yeah not exact but this is your area. and you have the second one you see forty seven thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars the same area i describe it manually right and the last one is around sixty two thousand dollars sixty sixty fifty nine to sixty three all this area you see area of supply area of demand this supply 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 and you can see here area of demand as uh is around here mm -hmm. for thirty six uh forty thirty seven thousand dollars to thirty eight thousand dollars you see so this is the way you don't have the professional version okay you can use this one in any time frame actually yes you can see for example here very simple that's why i said look at this is thirty eight thousand dollars the highest resistance are for around 43 mm -hmm, this area uh, the i mean the highest run the most important one is in 43 44 and the the second one is this area as well mm -hmm. this area i'm um, 42 43 yeah but if you have the professional the professional uh, version of the volume profile you can use this one actually i am using this one as a my I mean my indicator for this right let me let me show you technicals <clears throat> volume profile and um, is the volume profile session volume okay so you choose this one I'm oh, sorry no it's not this one my mistake my mistake mm -hmm. session volume session range yes is this one with this one you have the professional version of trading view and you will see similar things but actually much better look at this the support or the biggest area of demand is this one the the second area of supply is this one that's why now you can see Bitcoin is stopping there and the last one is this one right so instead of just watching the line or the triangle or the rectangle or the circle or the rainbow or whatever your imagination well here the thing we know here is the biggest areas where people were very very interested in the past to buy or selling okay so now look at this if we see for example one day chart we have let me see one moment okay you see one one day chart here look at this where is the biggest area of supply for bitcoin well forty seven thousand dollars forty nine mm -hmm. the second area of supply is this area all this area not just one price this area on one day chart 
and also the biggest area of the of demand is this one as you can see here based on this it's very easy to see where potentially potentially we can sell or buy it depends right on the situation it's not that simple guys this is not as it's not because i ah here i can see here right okay let's buy let's sell no it's not that simple okay don't get fooled like this mm -hmm. no okay guys so everything together everything i explain here all combined is my trading system okay so is it easy for maybe people who are starting in the, in the markets is difficult yes but after you repeat the same thing every day every day like me you will do many things automatically in my case i am doing everything automatically so i don't need even to watch in my case actually i don't need indicators i can trade even without indicators anymore but for me they are tools they are tools they will help me to improve my performance as a trader okay so i think that's it guys that's it um i am creating a new indicator uh but it's experimental maybe in another video i'm gonna talk about it if one day i include my indicator here i'm gonna do it okay so i think thank you for watching guys thank you very much um i hope this video can help you to solve all your questions and you can set up your uh, trading view uh, like mine if you are interested of course in my in my trading system um yeah please uh well watch my live streams and thank you for your support